Uh, that time of the day! Market update time, let's get straight into it! Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, market update time. S&P and Dow. Let's have a look at what the Dow, the S&P market did last night. So looking on the daily chart, the short term, you can see that we actually rejected off that that uh, 18,000 level again. You can see by this level here. Hang on a minute, wrong one. There we go. There we go. That's her. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> so you can see the market rejected off 18,000 there, rejected off 18,000, and rejected off 18,000 again. And now we're getting a bit of a, and now we're getting a bit of a bit of a pullback. What is also interesting is, is this pullback has also got an increase in volume compared to yesterday, basically average volume. What is also definitely interesting about this short-term movement that I'm looking at here is that the stochastics are racing. The stochastics are racing to the almost to the overbought section. So we're almost back up to the green line, which ending above that line is, is overbought. So that's the interesting part. Yes, we've got divergence here, but the stochastics are almost, as you can see, hang on a minute, slow down there, Tiger, slow down. We're almost, almost getting to this point here, and when that happens, we actually start to get this sort of rolling over action. So it's very, very interesting where we're at right there in that spot there. Now, if you go to the line chart as well too, guys, you can actually see it's a bit more clearer, but you actually can see that the line chart is actually giving you a bit more clearer picture. What is that? Firstly, we have one top, bam, another top, two, bam. <laughs> um, then we have this trough here, double top, broken down. We have this major low swing and then a major high swing. Now, a lot of people are saying, um, uh, I think Zero Hedge was actually saying uh, that uh, that this buying through here, this, 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 uh, this buying through here, was due to obviously banks buying back their stock and the reason why they're buying back their stock slash hedge funds buying a lot of stock was to try to get try to get the market up so they can meet their quota or something like that because obviously it was the end, end, end of the quarter. So that's what's happening there and now we're starting to roll over a bit. So that's actually what we see on there. Are we gonna go to, bam, there we go. So this is, this is the S&P. So the same thing on the S&P but you can see this, the S&P is slight, is actually making slight lower lows. Let me show you what, I'm, what I mean here. So slight high high, slight lower peak. So this made a slight lower peak and now it's making another lower peak and it's already made that lower peak. So we're actually starting to slowly stair step and we made this higher trough, lower trough. So guys, there's nothing bullish about that yet. Okay, now again, I'm looking at the short term. This short term can change on a dime tomorrow. But we only trade with what we see, and this is what I see right now. Let's go have a look at the daily chart here. Once again, let's have a quick look at the daily chart and what I see on the daily chart. Firstly, once again, you can see by looking at the volume. Look, the volume is actually a lot more tar a lot more than 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 say you know obviously on on Friday. So uh, and it's the first day back from from that. You can see the market is actually broken down. Now you can also see that there's a lot of support and resistance levels going on around that. I'd have to say around that 2100. You know what? Now it's more around that 2001. Yeah, 2100 mark is that level there. So you can see that this level here, you got a whole lot of rejection through there through there and through there and now we're, now we're pulling off. Once again, guys, we're getting this stochastics racing up through here. That is actually quite quite a weak sign. Where the market's struggling to break above these highs, still it still can't get back up towards that 2,120, struggling, struggling to break above that. Now we're getting my fastest stochastic almost building above that. That's actually, it's, again, and now the market's actually failing here again and again and again. It just keeps failing here. Guys, this it's, it's actually not a bullish sign overall, okay? Again, looking at the short term, it's not a bullish sign. So uh, overall, guys, you know, do we actually get a pullback from here? Well, if you look at the, if you look at the Dow and you look at the S&P, it's showing more selling on this down move 
more selling on this down move. Why? Because it was actually a down bar. And a lot of people get this. A lot of people get this wrong. Or sort of, a lot of people are not sure about this. Where we actually had some down moves. So we had a lower, low, a lower, a lower high compared to yesterday's high, a lower low compared to yesterday's low, and you know, but it's basically a down bar and it opened and closed and it basically had a lot of selling here. So it was a down bar and it closed there. So because it was a down bar and it actually closed lower, this here shows you there was a lot more selling than buying. Pretty simple, right? So that's where you have bar analysis plus volume analysis. So anyway, guys, there's a bit of an update from there. Let's actually see what happens. Are we, are we going to hold here and rally up out of this or are we going to continue down? Right now, as I speak, it's showing, it's showing more selling on the downside. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.